who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell. And great was its fall. Things could have been different for Our Lady with the powerful testimony. She could have heard the word of God but doubted and had unbelief of ever having a baby. She could have heard the word of God but had no faith in God's word coming to pass in her life. She could have believed that the situation was bigger than Christ Jesus. In this respect, she would have been like a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. For anyone who hears the sayings of God and does not do them would be foolish. Not trusting in God and making him the foundation would not be wise. Just being religious and sounding religious will not guarantee eternal salvation. Jesus is the cornerstone of our lives and faith in him is our foundation upon which we should build our lives. Just standing on a rock is not enough. His every word needs to be put into practice. When we are committed to Christ Jesus, we trust him completely. As we live our lives, we become more and more like him. In the book of 1 John chapter 2, it says, Whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. If we build our lives on unstable foundations like sand, when the storms and wind come, it is very likely to get damaged. The foolish man's life doesn't have a solid foundation of God. He doesn't trust God and has little, if any, faith at all in him. However, when there are no storms or winds, it is possible for any house to stand. But rest assured, when those difficult, turbulent storms and weather comes, it will come crashing down. When people go through emotional turbulence and severe stresses, if their foundation is not in Christ, they may even believe that there is no way out of their turbulent situation and sadly even turn to extreme measures and turn to addictive substances. We all hear, you know, people, they may be drugs, it may be alcohol, but um, sadly, you know, they may just see that this, they believe that this is what will help them to face their situation. But the foundation of a house built on sand, it has no foundation to anchor it to. This is the same as people putting their trust in worldly values and plights. Because with ever changing situations, their emotions, spirituality would not be strong when things take a turn for the worse. Like the sand, emotions would be blown all over the place without Christ being the foundation. Maybe they've heard the word of God but don't follow through and they simply don't allow themselves to live their lives focus on Christ. We may even wonder how anyone would possibly want to build their house upon sand. But without focus on Jesus, people could be stubborn and oblivious to dangers. 
As Christ as a solid rock, no matter the storm that comes our way, and I'm sure that we have all faced or are even facing many storms, we can still have peace and worship our rock, Christ Jesus, even whilst going through the heavy storms. Whatever may come our way, we can trust in the love and hope of our rock. He will never leave us nor forsake us. He is the rock of all ages. He is unshakable, unmovable, the same yesterday, today and forever. We can always put our trust in him as his word can never return void. God cannot lie. What he says he will do, that is what he will do. Our rock and our saviour. God is the solid aspect of our daily lives. And our walk without him would not have any substance or solidity whatsoever. In the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 11, it's written, For no one can lay a foundation other than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. We already have a solid and firm foundation laid up in our rock, Jesus Christ. Let's remember that God is our rock, the Most High God, our Redeemer, for those who choose to make God their foundation and abide in Him. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 19 tells us, But God's firm foundation stands, bearing the seal. The Lord knows those who are His, and let everyone who names the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. With Christ as our rock and the Holy Spirit dwelling within us, it helps us to walk upright and be mindful of how we are living our lives. If we look throughout the Bible, you'll be surprised how many times the word rock appears from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation. It may seem like such a simple word, but of such magnificent importance. From the beginning in Genesis chapter 49 verse 24, Jacob describes God as the rock of Israel, whom Joseph relied on when he was persecuted. Like Joseph, if we rely on God, if we are persecuted or going through trials, trials we are certain to remain strong even in the face of adversity. Christ Jesus is the rock that will not budge. He will not ever sink or give way to defeat. A rock is a symbol of dependability, steadfastness, permanence, strength and stability the very epitome of our Lord and Saviour. The prophet Moses, held as the leader of Exodus, the one whom God delivered his people from Egyptian slavery, Moses whom the Lord knew face to face and listed in Hebrews chapter 11 as example of faith, yet, for all of his blessings was not permitted to enter the promised land of Canaan and was only allowed to see the land from a distance that was being given to the people of Israel. This was also the case for his brother, the priest Aaron. When the Israelites nearing the end of their 40 years of wandering and they came to the desert of Zin, 
started to turn against Moses and Aaron as there was no water. Moses and Aaron, they informed God of this. God the solid rock. He told them to gather the assembly and speak, and speak to the rock. Water will come forth. Moses took the staff and gathered the men. Then seemingly in anger, Moses said to them, Listen, you rebels, must we bring you water out of this rock? Then Moses struck 